Hi, for this video what we are going to do is we're going to solve a polynomial equation using a u substitution. The reason that I can use a u substitution for this one is because of the fact that this term right here, if I were to square it, it would give me this term right here. So really what we have is we have a quadratic equation that we can make simpler by replacing x plus 2 with a different variable. So for a u substitution, what we are going to do is we're going to let u equal the middle term x plus 2. We're going to replace all of our x plus 2's with u, so now we're going to solve the equation 2u squared minus 5 times u equals 3. Since I have a quadratic equation, remember that everything must be on one side and it has to equal 0, so what I'm going to do is bring this 3 to the opposite side. When I bring the 3 to the opposite side, I change the sign. So since it's a positive 3, I change it to the other side and it becomes a negative 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to factor this. Because this one um, does have a value other than 1 in front of it, what we are going to do is we're going to take and multiply the first term times the last term. So we're going to find two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 6 that add up to be negative 5. Since this is negative, that tells me we need one positive and one negative. And since the addition is negative, that tells me the negative needs to be larger. So for this one, because of the fact that positive 1 times negative 6 gives me negative 6, and positive 1 plus negative 6 gives me negative 5, that would be the values that we are going to use. Remember, since we have a 2 in front, we are going to look to see, does 2 go into 1? So since they don't have anything in common, I'm just going to keep them as they are. So 2u plus 1. For the second parenthesis, since 2 and negative 6 have a 2 in common, I'm going to go ahead and take the 2 out. So I'm going to do 2 divided by 2, which is just 1 and negative 6 divided by 2, which is negative 3. So for this, we always want to check to make sure that our answer makes sense once we factored it. So since 2u times u is 2u squared, that gives me the first term. 2u times negative 3 gives me the negative 6 that I needed to add together with the 1 to get the negative 5 in the middle. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So we have factored it correctly, it does work out. So what we wanna do now is we wanna take and solve each equation. So 2u plus one equals zero. So if I solve this by um, taking the one to the opposite side, it would become a negative. So our first answer is u equals negative one half. And our second one, u minus three equals zero, we would end up with u equals three. Remember that we're not done because we're not solving for u, we're solving for x. So what we want to do is we want to go back and we want to take and replace this back into our equation. So we're going to let u equal x plus 2, so we're really solving the equation x plus 2 equals negative 1 half. And we are solving the equation x plus 2 equals 3. So x is still not completely alone, so what we want to do is we want to get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract the 2. So this gives me x equals, when I subtract this, it's really negative 2 and a half, or um, we could write it as negative 5 halves if we want to write it as an improper fraction. Either one is acceptable. Um, for this one, when we subtract the 2, we end up with x equals 1. So remember that these are our possible solutions, x equals, x equals 1 and x equals negative 5 halves. But we do want to go back up and check to make sure that it works. So we're going to place those answers, or we're going to place those numbers into our original problem. Because this one is a little bit more complicated, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my calculator to help me. For this one, I'm using the TI um, Inspire. You don't have to use the TI Inspire. You can use any calculator, but I'm going to use this one to help me. So I'm going to add a calculator screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my first answer, which was negative 5 halves. So I'm going to take negative 5 divided by 2. And I am going to store, if you look at the control in the var that will allow us to store for a variable, I'm going to store it for x. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the equation exactly how it was. So we had two parentheses x plus 2. 
quantity squared minus 5 times x plus 2. And we wanted to see, did that equal 3? Because remember that our original equation did equal 3. And so we can see that we did get 3, so the first one does work. The negative 5 halves does work. We have to check our second answer, which remember was 1. So I would take 1 and I would store that for x. And then instead of retyping in the whole thing, I'm going to just come back up here. And I'm going to, once it's highlighted, grab it and hit enter again and we can see that that also equals 3. So both of our answers do work. Um, a lot of times you're just allowed to leave it like that. If you do have to write your answer in set notation, you could write it as a set of numbers negative 5 halves comma 1. So it just depends on um, the expectation of how they want the answer written. So either of those two forms are the correct way of writing it. As always, thanks for watching.